Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It is, I know Richard Lawrence just said uh, sunny Florida. You guys, this is not sunny Florida. This is Coburg, Oregon, the world headquarters of Marathon Coach Wash Rack behind me. We're gonna look at two shells, an H3 quad slide, which gives us a really great opportunity to look at um, what the slides look like when they're in on a quad without anything done to the house yet. These two shells just got here. A custom quad and a new X3. Also a custom coach, both of these. So you got 1359 and 1361 right next to each other. Both of these coaches will be going into production within the next week to two. And so this is an exciting opportunity. Let me fix what I'm saying here. It gives us a great opportunity to see both of these, uh, both of these shells. Hope everyone had a good weekend. We're gonna go inside uh, the X3 first. Uh, that one just got here, 1361 from Prevo. Uh, it's a long drive from Quebec. And so one of the things they do is they put this uh, protective cover on the front. So if you, if you ever see that, you know that uh, that's a new shell in route, but uh, that's pretty cool to see. This literally just pulled in over the last couple of days and uh, they're gonna start prepping it uh, for the paint department. Let's go inside. Where's everybody watching from? Here's, here's a really cool uh, ability to look at what the shell looks like when it first gets here. It's really a scaled down version of a Greyhound bus, you guys. As you know, Marathon's the best in the industry. Uh, we're not gonna split any hairs anymore because splitting hairs means you gotta get a haircut. We're not gonna split any hairs. Bottom line is, Marathon's the best in the industry and we build on the best chassis. The Prevo chassis is the best RV um, to start, uh, platform to start with. This plastic protective is how, it, how it's driven 3,000 miles and we're gonna take these off. It's got these, these little things that hold it on here. I'm gonna get down here and pull this guy off. There we go. I'm gonna let John come through here. This shell just got here, so you're literally seeing it as it just drove in 3,000 miles from Quebec. So this is an X3 double slide. John, I'll let you go ahead and explore while I talk about it. The uh, updated X3, this is gonna be a 2022, or no, this is a 2023, excuse me. This is a 2023 marathon. And this guy, just starting into production. So it will be completed uh, sometime in the spring of next year. Here's the slide out as you can see, the bed, the bed platform is already on here. John just stepped up into what will be uh, the rear of the coach. So this gives you a really good opportunity to see um, the infrastructure of the Prevo chassis in the X3. High ceiling, and when we go into the H, you'll see the difference. Um, for those of you who don't know, the X and the H stainless steel sides that are exposed on the X. Also, the cockpit is on the same level as the living quarters, as you can see. But in the H, you make an additional couple steps up into your living quarters or into your salon when you have the H. Storage is taller on the H, whereas because the ceiling is higher in the X, the storage is a little bit Smaller. I say smaller, but for the most part, it's just shorter. But wow, what a, what a good opportunity to see both shells right next to each other. And uh, you get to really see the structure. John, go ahead and give them a shot of that roof. Uh, we're not even going to call it a ceiling yet. One of the things that uh, you, you buy the Prevo, the Prevo chassis for and, and Marathon builds on the Prevo chassis, is this stainless steel full cage that you're riding in. We've talked about it many times and there are additional videos on the Marathon website to be able to see just why you would want a bus conversion and not an RV. And that's what Marathon Mondays is for. It's for you, uh, the consumer, to make a decision. And a, a, the better decision is to go with a bus chassis if you can do it. If you can do it and get into a marathon, go with a, go with a bus chassis, go with a marathon because 
uh, you're going to not only be safer, more comfortable, and a quieter ride, but also uh, there's just a different feel to it. And the, re the, re the resale value, for those of you who are looking to resell at some point, is incredibly different uh, from an RV to a bus conversion. That's the, that's the window. Uh, that opens the window. I don't think those are hooked up, though. But that's kind of cool to see it prior to Marathon getting it, because Marathon does it a little bit cleaner finish uh, than just installing on the side, because as you guys know, a lot, of, um, a lot of work goes into here to build a house. I'm actually standing in the driver's side slide out uh, of this X3. Very cool to see. And you can get a good idea. I'm six foot. Uh, if I'm shrinking, I'm 5'11", but you can see how much room is between me and the ceiling here. Uh, so it, it, it provides for a lot more room inside the coach, less room in the storage below. And we're going to see that as we move into the um, H. I'm going to hold this forward. I'm going to let John step out and get a good shot of the uh, cockpit. I'm going to sit in here for a second. Ugh. Very, very cool. So this is... Uh, you know, this is how they drive it. I've heard that these are really fun to drive because they're light. They're a lot lighter weight than when uh, after Marathon gets a hold of it and builds a beautiful house out of this uh, Coach 1361. But the thing is, this plastic dash, you know, all of these buttons over here, a lot more gets added. There's even a cigarette ashtray over here. Boy, that's old school. Somebody, uh, somebody called 1973 and put an ashtray in here. I love it though, man. This is, this, is, this is a good opportunity to see what it looks like before we get a hold of it. And as you guys know, and I think I illustrated this a couple of shows ago, our upholstery department and our fiberglass department builds a whole new dashboard. And all of this gets leather wrapped. All of this infrastructure of the cockpit gets leather wrapped. The smart wheel is retained with the smart buttons but it's enhanced with the, the proper colors. It's just too cool. All right, John, let's go see that H next door. Cool. All right. H3 quad. One of the cool things about this one is we get to see it as a quad. A lot of times we only get to see uh, an H3 in a double slide when it's a shell, but this is the quad slide. So we're going to be able to see all four slides brought in. <clears throat> I'm going to let you, uh, you know what? I'll walk all the way to the back, John, and let you walk through the coach. Take a look at all of those slides, guys. Hopefully we don't have any Wi-Fi issues. There's a whole lot of stainless in here, everybody. There's a whole lot of structure in here. You can see with those slides brought in, but what the reason I'm bringing you to the very back is because I want you to see how much room is in the back of this H3. Careful there, John. Look at how much room is back here. We are in the rear bath of this quad slide, and there is a ton of room back here. And I don't know how what kind of wide angle John's working with there, but there is a ton of room in the back of this coach, and that's what provides Marathon to build, in my opinion, the best floor plan Marathon's ever come up with, which is the Quad Slide Super Bath. You've seen it before on the show. Where John is standing is gonna be the commode, the hidden washer dryer, the shower is gonna be right there. Where I am, there's going to be a double vanity, lots of storage, and then this area right here, just when you think the Super Bath is over, You've got a four foot hanger bar above my head and a closet. Just too cool. The quad slide from Marathon is easily, uh, with the super bath, my favorite floor plan we've ever done. It's just, you know, it's 45 feet. All of these coaches are 45 feet. And this is one of those things that's engineered to maximize the space. I love it. John, I encourage you to be careful. Walking back this way, take your time. Do not, yeah, boy, there we go, there we go. Here we are in the midship of the coach. Uh, you know, 
I think you can get a good idea of what it looks like with the slides pulled in. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to illustrate here because we rarely get to see a quad slide with the slides in. Very, very cool. And then one thing, I'm gonna jump behind you, John, so you can get a good shot of it. Right from this angle right here, you can see that additional step up. So where I was talking about, you take, you take an additional couple of steps up into your salon, into, you can make the steps down into your cockpit like this, and that's what gives you uh, the lower height of the ceiling, or it, it, it kind of breaks it up. The, you guys, if you haven't been in a uh, marathon before, the Prevo H3, the cockpit it seems a little bit lower. Well, because it is. And the floor is a little bit lower because your salon is a two steps higher. They're not big steps, but it just breaks up your luxury home from your cockpit. It's kind of a, a cool way to look at it. Here's another good shot of the uh, famous Prevo ashtray. So funny, putting the ashtray on there still. All right, you guys. That is a good look at two custom coaches coming to Marathon here in the coming months. 1359, which is that quad slide John just stepped out of, and 1361 and X3 double slide, both custom coaches. So that's gonna be really fun to see. Uh, we got some time, let's head inside and, ex and uh, just kind of uh, wander around. If Abigail has some questions for us, uh, we can answer those as we walk. I'm gonna hold this open for, oh, here's a good shot. Take a look at this, coming into the wash rack. There's a friend of the show, you guys. Sid Tolls bringing his coach in. Yeah, there it is. Just arrived. Coming in for a wash. Right there is good. A friend of the show, Sid Tolls, coming in for a, a wash. All right. So Abigail, if you have any questions to throw our way while we're walking through here, someone said Steve Lopez, but I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna head this way. I saw something on our way outside and I wanted to show everybody. We talk a lot about marathon quality and uh, one of the things I wanna show you is these drawers that are just over here. I just saw a couple of guys avoid me in the camera. <laughs> Let's take a look at these right here. What do we got here? 1348 drawers. Take a look at these. So these are going in 1348. 1348 is a coach you guys know very well. In fact, I'm gonna pivot around, John, so you can see 1348 in the background. Sorry, Abigail. <laughs> she tries her best to avoid, <laughs> avoid being on the camera, but um, that's 1348 behind us, and these are the drawers that are going in. Look at this beautiful work. Look at the dovetail work on there. It's just so well built. You can really see these are made of these are made of a very strong stranded bamboo. And then what Marathon does is they line every drawer with this scratch-proof engineered leather. So it's a synthetic leather that has a portion of real leather in it. And it comes in all kinds of different colors and sheens, and it provides for a lot of options. But look at over those beautiful drawers. These all go into 1348. Man, I just love it. This gives you a good chance to see the detail that's on there. And th some of these things never get seen because these are interior drawers to cabinetry. But that's the attention to detail that Marathon puts in to building a luxury home. And then of course, like I said, they come in different colors. Here's another one. I don't know what coach this is for and I don't think it's labeled. Oh yeah, it is. 
13, 49. So this is 48. Here's 49, a different color. Take a look at that. This is like an ash color. Look at that dovetail. Just absolutely beautiful. John's got a good light on there so you can see it. But this is such a quality piece that goes with our cabinetry. And then, of course, on every drawer, you get the Marathon logo embossed onto each interior of the drawer. We'll see those later when we take a tour through 1348. That's so cool. Awesome. Thank you, John. Other than that, you guys, take a look around this production floor. Some of the some of the best coaches in the history of the world are being built right in this building by Oregonians. So a big thanks to everybody on this production floor for letting me, John, and Abigail run around and run amok with a camera and microphones every Monday morning. It's my honor to represent this company and represent all everybody who works in this building, not just here, but at our Florida and Texas locations. Um, I do it every Monday. I, have, I haven't missed a Monday in three years, and it's my honor to do it for all the employees at Marathon and all of you Marathon owners and future owners. That's why we do this show. This show is designed to help you make the decision of why you should buy a Marathon, and every week is my goal to illustrate that. And I think things like this and looking at the infrastructure of this building helps illustrate that. Be yourself and do good things. I will see you next Monday. Take care, everybody.